Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria and this is Tori's Tropicals. So in today's video I thought I'd show you guys my Hoya collection. I have quite a bit so I'm going to try to go through it pretty quickly. Uh, so let's just get started. The first toy I have to show you guys is this Crimson Princess. It's got the variegation on the inside and it's so pretty since I've been putting it in higher humidity it's put out these much larger leaves than these little ones before. It's got a pink stem and the stem is fuzzy. It's really cool. And it is different from the Crimson Queen which I have right here too because on the Crimson Queen the variegation is on the outer margins of the leaf. And the Crimson Queen can also put out these entirely white leaves, which are just beautiful. Although they don't photosynthesize and they will eventually just die off. So, yeah. Those are the first two. The next two that I have to show you are my Hoya Carii Variegata Elbow Marginata. And there is this one, who's a small guy right here, who's putting out some new growth for me. These are really slow growers. I've had this one for a year and he's only put out one leaf for me and now he's putting out a second one. Oh, actually two up here. I chopped him and it seems to be making him grow a bit better. And then the second one is the same kind of plant and it is much larger. I got it from the greenhouse this way. I did not get it to grow this way for me, but it is just beautiful. I really love these heart-shaped leaves. The carry eye is actually what first attracted me to Hoyas. I feel like they used to be a lot more popular. People aren't liking them as much now, but I still think they are just so incredible. The way their leaves are just these perfect hearts. Since I just showed you my uh, Alba Marginata carry eye, I thought I'd show you my green version carry eye. And it's just a little guy, this one, and I love him so much. He put out both of these leaves for me this uh, summer and I really, really like them. These new leaves came out with like splashes on them, not much, but just a little bit. And they're really, really cute. I prefer the um, green version or the reverse variegated carry eye to the Alba Marginata. I don't have the reverse variegated, I want to find it. Or the splash, I love splash. I have no splash Hoyas, but they're so, so pretty. But yeah, it's this guy. The next Hoya I have to show you is my Australis Lisa and it just puts out these beautiful variegated leaves with like this lime green inside and when the leaves come first come out they're this bright red like this guy right here. My camera does not want to focus for me today. Can you? I don't think it's focusing but yeah you can see the color at least. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I have had some trouble with this guy reverting on me, but I snipped him and hopefully that'll do the trick. But I really, really like this one. His leaves are a bit thinner, so he does need to be watered more than uh, most other Hoyas. But I, I like him and I put him like directly under my grow light and I find that's how he grows best. He grows quite uh, fast. I've snipped him probably like four or five times in the last year and I've had clippings like like this is what what was reverted was this Australis that I clipped off of him and as you can see like that was a lot and I've clipped off probably like four or five clippings like this through the year. Some um, with variegation and some that uh, the variegation had reverted which is why I clipped them. The next toy I have to show you guys is my Hoya Pubicalyx, and this guy just took off. I got him a couple months ago, I want to say, and I just love his leaves. They come out like this black color and then fade to green, and they're so beautiful. He grows so, so well. It's so easy to take care of, and this is generally one of your less expensive Hoyas. I got this one for like $7 from a local nursery. But yeah, it's just, I love it so much. And I just think the way the leaves come out black are so cool. The next two Hoyas I have to show you guys are just little guys and they're both the same and it is the um, Hoya Carnosa Compacta and it's just the regular green version and I really really like the way that the leaves just cluster and curl all like this. I think it's so cool and then I just have this little tiny guy right here that could probably use some water. But I really like this. I really want the um Manaloa, I believe it is compacta. It's the one with the variegation on the inside. I just think it's so, so pretty. 
The next Hoya I have to show you is my reverse variegated Hoya Obavada. And I rooted this guy from cuttings and planted him in soil recently. He took like half a year to grow some decent roots, but I probably left him a little longer. I probably could have potted him up like a month or two sooner, but I like, I just was lazy pretty much. But yeah, I love the inside variegation. I think it's so gorgeous. I love these big circular leaves. I really like the Hoyas with the really big leaves or the really small leaves. Like I'm really interested in the Hoya latifolia or Hoya serpens. I think they're both really cool and very much on different ends of the spectrum in terms of foliage size. But yeah. These guys I believe are slow growers like the Carii as well. Um, I think he may have put out these two leaves. I don't remember them being there in the cutting but I can't remember for sure. But he is starting to grow a little bit. He's got a growth point right in here and a growth point right in here. Yeah, that's this guy. I really like him. I think he's super cool looking. I think I want to try putting him in LECA. I want to try putting a couple of my Hoyas in LECA, actually. I've heard they really, really like it, and I'm interested in switching over to LECA, so figure why not try with some of my smaller Hoyas. The next toy I have to show you guys is my Hoya Matilde, and it is just so adorable, and it grows really, really well. I probably got it without this bunch here, like these four leaves right here. And it was probably about this short on this one and it did grew all this for me this summer when um once it settled in hoyas sometimes you take like a couple a little while to settle into your house and then once they start growing they really do grow and it is just fantastic i think this one is so cute it's got little splashes on the leaves here let me see if i can get my camera to focus probably not because it hasn't focused for me all day today there we go. It's got little splashes on the leaves and it is just so cute. Um, it is bigger than a Hoya Serpens, the leaves, because the Hoya Serpens is really small, but it kind of reminds me of it and I just think it's so cute. This is also another one I want to try putting in like a, this poor plant has had a hard time. Uh, my cats have knocked it off the shelf before I put it in my greenhouse like five times and like even still this is just it's heavy this way and it's coming out and I think you guys might be seeing me repot some uh, Hoyas into Leca quite soon. <laughs> the next Hoya I have to show you guys is quite a large Hoya. It is the Hoya Fusco Marginata and it puts out these gorgeous big leaves. It put this one out for me recently and it's so beautiful and it's got this like black edge on the margin and this gorgeous phasing when and when it gets sun stressed it goes like this purpley red color and it is just so gorgeous I really love this Hoya it has grown for me quite a bit recently I've just wrapped this vine it's taken off and then it has another one down here that's taken off for me recently and it's been putting out it put out this leaf and it put out um, this leaf for me and where's the other one it's kind of there it is and this one that's kind of sad I don't think it had enough humidity but I put out all those leaves for me within like the last month and then it's sh shot off in vines so I'm hoping I'll get more leaves thinking about sticking this guy in my greenhouse Hoyas really like humidity but I just don't know if I have the space and I really like the way my greenhouse is set up right now I might have to order another greenhouse soon to be honest <laughs> yeah this is this guy the last six Hoyas I have to show you are all small guys and they're all from Sacred Garden Boutique. She has incredible Hoyas and she just has incredible plants. And the first one I showed you guys in a recent haul and it is this Hoya Imbricata and I am just so obsessed with it. Like my boyfriend, um, my boyfriend, my fiance and my mom think that the leaves look like pierogies and I couldn't agree more. It's just so cool and it has this new leaf coming in right here and it is just I can't wait to see that one grow in and see how it like folds around it because right now it just looks like a little round leaf so I just really want to see how it ends up looking like this pierogi shape it is just so interesting to me yeah that's this guy the next little Hoya I have to show you guys is this Hoya Hushkaliana I believe is how it said pink and it's just got this adorable tiny like lime green foliage that I just think is so so cute I just want to uh, stick it in Lekka or something and get it to slowly go around like a little circle trellis or something I think it'd be so adorable 
I just, I love it. I really like the bright green of this foliage. I don't feel like I've seen a lot of Hoyas that have like this bright green unless it's variegated in the middle like the uh, Australis Lisa. But yeah, that's this guy. The next Hoya I have to show you guys is this Hoya Bertinae. Bertinae? I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it is so cute. Once again, it's got this little foliage, and it looks really thick, and it, like, feels so cool. And it's so, got almost, like, this velvety, fuzzy feeling to it. I can't really see if there's hairs, but it feels like there is, and it just feels so interesting. And I just think it's adorable. Yeah, definitely looking at all these Hoyas again, I'm definitely going to have to do a uh, repot with me and Lekka because I just think that sounds like so much fun to try putting all these little guys in Lekka. And they're just little, so I don't think their roots would be so substantial, so I'm not too worried. I think they'd transition pretty fine. The next Hoya I have to show you guys is this little Hoya Memoria, and it is just so cute. It's got two new leaves here and another little one here. And a tiny one there coming out and they're so cute the leaves have like splashes kind of on them and it is just really really pretty i like it a lot the leaves feel kind of like cardboard it's pretty cool i think this guy could use a watering soon but yeah this is him he is adorable and i just love him and it looks like the leaves come in like kind of purpley i don't know if you guys can see that yeah, it looks like the leaves come in kind of purpley and then fade to like a green color and it is just really pretty. The next Hoya I have to show you is this Hoya Anulata and these leaves feel so thick and like hardy. Like they're so hard, it is so cool. And I really like how it comes to like this point tip, kind of like the Polyneura, which I'm looking for. It's so cute. It's the Polyneura is known as the fishtail Hoya if you've ever seen it and it's really cute. It's got like these pointed tips similar to this but the Polyneura has veining in a different shaped leaf. Um, but yeah this is so cute. I think the way like these leaves are so hard like they feel almost like they're tougher than my care like harder than my carry eye leaves and I think it might be the way the leaf kind of like it scoops in like so there's an indent in here and yeah I just I really think this one is really cool. Now the last toy I have to show you, I'm so excited to have in my collection. Um, Elle from Secret Card and Boutique actually pulled one out of the back for me last time I was there because she had none up front and I just can't thank her enough. She is honestly the sweetest woman. If you are anywhere in the area, like I can't suggest going there enough. But this is a Hoya Kadada Sumatra and it is just so cool. It has these really cool like ridged edges on the leaf and they're kind of splashed and they're fuzzy and it's just awesome. I really really love this plant. The leaves feel kind of like cardboard but they're fuzzy and cool and I'm pretty sure if you get this one sun stressed the leaves come out like dark purple and I just can't wait to see that. It's got a new leaf coming in right in there and I just I'm so so happy to have this in my collection. I can't thank her enough for pulling it out for me and like look at these vining guys like they just they go on pretty long for such a little guy and I'm just so excited to have it and he's got so many little leaf notes where leaves want to come out. So yeah. So that's it for my Hoya collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me. I'll leave my Instagram across the screen here if you want to follow me for some more planty adventures. I really hope you guys are having a good one wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Bye beautiful people.